It's Marissa from the Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me for this Friday Sews. It's probably my first Friday Sews in about three weeks. I was on holiday. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Friday Sews is a hashtag that Today and Jen, Jen from Today and Jen Sewing Room put together to um, sort of bring the community together. It's an opportunity for Sewists to talk about things we've made, we have planned, and anything else. So. I am going to mainly talk about what I've been up to this week. I got back from holiday uh, last weekend um, and I did make things I believe that I didn't show you, but I do not remember what those are or were. So I am, like I said, just going to focus on what I got sewn up this week and what I plan to do in the coming days and next week. So. The first thing I want to share with you is a sewing pattern that I tested. Give me a moment so I can get the items to show you. Okay, so I tested the Ellie dress, which is by Stitching Simply. Now, I don't believe there are line drawings. I believe this is her first pattern. But essentially, it's an elasticated neck, an elasticated arms, and an elasticated waist. It's intended for um, sort of lightweight cottons, viscose, things that are really lightweight, essentially. Um, the, the, uh, the sizing is quite limited, I will say. Um, I tested the largest size, which, um, so their, their patterns go from a bust of 31.5 to a bust of only 42, and a waist of 24 to a waist of 34. So like I said, quite limited. However, um, because it's so sort of elasticated there is actually a lot of space um, because my bust at the moment is more than a 42 and my waist is unfortunately more than a 34. However this fit me lovely. I will uh, insert a picture here of me wearing it um, and um, yeah here is the actual garment. So um, yes it's elasticated here and you utilize like a bias binding and I had this purple um, for the cuffs, this was my idea um, to use bias binding, but really all the pattern says is to create a casing. But because this viscose was just raveling like crazy, I just thought it would be much cleaner and simpler to do that. It's got an elasticated waist, so it creates a nice channel there. And then um, it's got a rolled hem on the bottom. Now, and I should say it has a rolled hem up here as well. Um, I will be honest, don't look too close because I didn't do the greatest job. It's really honestly the first time I did a rolled hem on my sewing machine. I did watch some YouTube videos um, and I thought it was going quite well. However, um, there are some places where it's not quite a rolled hem. It's just like folded ones, but it's quite a busy print on the dress and I don't think you can see it. It is, when I was making, I'm like, oh gosh, is this gonna be my style? Is it gonna suit me? I mean, dresses aren't my style to begin with. However, I really, really like it. And um, I shall enjoy wearing it and possibly even make another. So I definitely recommend the pattern. Um, it is called, again, the Ellie Dress by Stitching Simple. So, as you can see by the sheen on my face, and if you saw my last video, I apologize because I probably looked like I was dying of heat exhaustion, which to be honest, I was. So um, it is hot here. And I always sort of forget like what really hot weather feels like. And so basically, and I'm not really like a short and tank top kind of person, but this week I made a few. So I made a couple of the Wanitz tank, which is this. And this is in the book Sewing with Knitted Fabrics by Wendy Ward. 
This is a lovely tank top. I have made several before. It's sort of loose fitting, um, which I really like. I would like to try making it into this dress just for like a simple dress here. But yeah, it's um, it's a really nice pattern. It basically has binding in the neck and the arm. So it's quite a sort of clean, simple pattern to make. The sizing for this pattern goes from a bust of 31 and a half, waist of 25 and a quarter, hip of 34 and three quarters, up to a bust of 47 three quarters, waist of 41 and a half, and hip of 51. Um, I have made many patterns in this book and really, really recommend it. They're quite sort of simple, straightforward, but really well um, put together. So I'm, I haven't quite finished one of them. Um, but um, the first one is this nice white one. Um, I had some white, a small amount of this white cotton jersey in my stash and um, I use my twin needle so it looks really nice. Um, just really simple, nothing too exciting, but um, really nice and hemmed at the bottom. Then the other one which I have to sort of top stitch um, is this. This is um, fabric I got in one of my fabric surprise boxes. Apologies, it's sounds a bit weird um at the moment and it's like a rib knit so you can kind of see the rib it's quite a thicker one um but yeah really nice and soft and um, all I need to do like I said is top stitch that and hem that and then I wanted to make a pair of shorts um but because I'm not a shorts person I don't have lots of shorts patterns so I checked this out which was the wardrobe by me easy shorts now I made my first pair uh, in a woven as, as um, actually let's start from the beginning. I made a pair, which let's be honest, didn't even fit. Like I couldn't even pull them up. I don't know where I went wrong. I looked back at the sizing. I have no idea. Then I made another pair substantially larger because it's elasticated in the waist. You know, you can, you know, basically make it smaller. And I don't mind them being loose. This is lovely, lovely double gauze. Apologies, sun. Um, it's a lovely double gauze that I bought in the US a long time ago. It's been in my stash because I didn't buy very much of it. I bought like a meter. Um, but yeah, it's super, super nice. And when I tried them on, they were a little short. So I used some trim again, had in my stash, bought in the US. Just kind of sewed it on um, the front like this and then flipped it and sewed it. So they look really, really nice. Now, oddly, they are still a little tight. I think I must have very large thighs, which I do. Anyway, so they're not like massively, like super comfortable. Like they're comfortable, but not super comfortable because they aren't, but um, I am on a diet. So maybe in a few weeks. I'll put them on and just feel wonderful in them. However, I do really like them. And like I said, they do fit. They're just, when you look at like the picture of the people wearing them, it looks like really loose and that's not how it is on me. But anyways, I wanted to make this tank top to go with this because I thought I could sleep in it um, as like a pajama set or something like that. So that was the idea there. Then, I'm back, sorry, my job coming in the office. Then the next one, I decided I wanted to make the same pattern, but in a jersey. And so I found a piece of jersey that I had in my stash, again, only about a meter. And you know, uh, there's not much I can make with a meter, except maybe a tank top. And so I made a pair of shorts, same pattern, same size. And I did really like the trim idea. So I did that again, and then top stitched. And I thought that would look really nice with that. Um, so just to pick up some of those colors. And I'm going to the beach tomorrow for the day and I intend to finish this this evening and wear this outfit to the beach. So yeah, I'm really pleased with these functional items as well as using up, I say scraps, pieces of fabric from my stash. Now, I don't really, I haven't like thought through any plans for this week. I do need to sew up um, on Sunday the Cottesloe because I, if you have seen any of my previous videos, I got sent some Lycra, beautiful Lycra from the Polish company that I buy all of my Lycra from 
for swimsuits and um, I'm going to be featured on their blog. So I'll give you a little sneak peek of the fabric. But that is it. It's going to be made into a cottage though. It's all cut out, ready to go. And it's a super easy pattern to sew up. So I'll have no trouble doing that on Sunday. What else will I be making? Well, I had planned a sort of um, capsule wardrobe for my son. So I basically went through, made a list of sort of all the items that I wanted him to have for the start of the school year. And if you'll excuse me, excuse, excuse me for a minute, I'll get my computer. So basically, I, cre I created a, a sort of a list of all the items that I wanted him to have, like underwear, nice shirts, pants, shorts, you know, the full thing. And what I realized is he has a lot of stuff already. So actually, there's not much I need to make him. But the biggest thing I need to make him is underwear. Now, I have in the past made the Ikati underwear. Um for him. But then I saw the speedy shorts pattern that, that um, some other people had made for their son. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, the speedy shorts, a pair of those, have him try them on and see if he likes them. And if he does, I'll make all of them in that pattern. I am going to make him a nice shirt with a collar. Um, there's a nice pattern by Waves and Wild called the Sunset Shirt, I think. And it's like a proper collared shirt. I want to make him two of those. Um, I do need to make him five pairs of pants. Uh, you know, frankly, I will have to make more throughout the year because they get holes. But as a starting point, because he does have a few that I made towards the end of last, well, the end of winter that he can still fit in. And I want to make him a sun hat, even though it's coming to the end of the um, summer. Just something, it's a good thing for him to have in his wardrobe. And I also would like to make him a cardigan. Uh, and I have a pattern by Melly Sews, uh, which I have made him before, and it was really, really cute. So I will make that again for him. So I may get started on these items, um, but I may sew something else. I'm not sure. I haven't really thought it through. I've had a busy week at work. It is Friday evening now, and like I said, we're going to go to the beach for the day tomorrow. Sunday, we'll be at home. I'll be making the bathing suit, and next week is very much quieter for me, so um, I will hopefully sneak in quite a lot of sewing, um, but I need to figure out what that is. Anyway, I will leave it there. I hope everybody's well. I'm going to turn the fan back on. It is cooler, but again... Cooler is subjective. Cooler is 27 in my house versus 28. But the evenings cool off and it's super comfortable to sleep. So um, I can't complain. And uh, the sun's always shining. So, but I hope wherever you are, the weather is good. And thank you for joining me again. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye.